1839, one of the most haunted places in Westland, Michigan, Eloise Insane Asylum was opened. Eloise was named after the founding physician's daughter. Patients here were reported to be beaten, overcrowded, and unsanitary. I know that there used to be like 800 buildings and it used to be like its own city back in the 1800s, but now there's only like three buildings left or something. It's just the remains, but, and there was a lot of like secret activity going down in the tunnels that involved like removal of brains and stuff that the public didn't know about. Yes, yeah, mess up stuff. What do you know about the asylum? Um. Well, it was in operation for a number of years, and then it closed down. Uh, they've torn a number of the buildings down, and obviously there's the strip mall there and everything else, but there's still tunnels underneath uh, Michigan Avenue that go on to the other side of Michigan Avenue and to the south side of Michigan Avenue. I know that the asylum was for uh, individuals that had suffered with mental illness. The um, subject manners, you know, that could be anywhere from children up to adults and it housed and uh, they weren't allowed to leave and it was fenced in and they did everything there. What do you know about the asylum? Um, well, I know that it was once a running asylum and then the government shut that down due to the lack of funding and kind of opened up the doors and just let everyone go. Yep, I've been there before on calls. Lady Eloise? Yeah. Yes. I can't say I've actually visited. I was very young when the facility was in place, but I do recall, I know of it, and I know driving by it lots of times. Um, I think I did go into the building once, though, but I was really young. Yes, I have. Me and my dad went there. Some of the historical buildings are still left, such as the old firehouse power plant and bakery. People have reported a woman in a white dress roaming the top floors of this building. The hospital used to be made up of 75 buildings, but then reduced down to four. Have you ever heard of or personally experienced anything? Well, I've heard of other officers who've been down there and they heard what they thought people were running even though there was nobody in there. Supposedly the tunnels are haunted, they say. Haunted tunnels? Yeah. Also, it is claimed that lights flicker on and off. And the walls will ooze green slime! Many things have been found inside Eloise. Jars of body parts, documents of creepy medical procedures, and weird pictures of patients. Yes, Should we do it? I did, Jack. It's not going to close that long. Have you ever heard of or personally experienced anything there? Yes. I thought I was entering a haunted house, so I paid five dollars to get in. I was I was a senior in high school, and um, we started to walk around, and then we realized it was actually bums at the front door, and it wasn't really a haunted house, and we were into a real abandoned building, and so we took out. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. No problem. No, I've never had to go there or had family members that went there. Um, I knew of other family, uh, other friends who fam whose family members had gone there. Mm -hmm. Well, I have, haven't experienced anything myself, but when me and my dad went to go see, like they used to have tours there, but they don't have them anymore. The manager guy was talking about, like, if you go outside of the place at 12 o'clock, 
at night, you will see a woman holding a candle standing looking out the window every night at midnight. And then I heard another story of all the TVs always turn on at nighttime and the floor will always be wet as if someone like got out of a shower and was like walking through the halls. And that's about all I've really heard. There is also a cemetery behind Eloise where 7,000 of the graves are former residents of Eloise. Each grave is marked by the patient's number, not by their names. And finally, the hospital was abandoned in the 1970s. Do you know why they closed it down? Money. Do you often catch kids trying to break in? Not really. Not really. Because there's none of the buildings are left. Just I think just one building left now. Just the one. I don't want to say it doesn't happen at all, but it's rare when it does. But Eloise itself is a city. It was built in the 1930s. It was one of the depression projects that the government uh, put out to create jobs. Just like building Hoover Dam, that was a government project and they hired people and brought them out here to construct the dam. They brought people to construct Eloise. Hey, you know where Eloise is at? You're kidding me. No way. City within a city. Sin city. Man. Sin city. All right. <laughs> That's the game. That's the game. <laughs>